Okay, folks, this is a, uh, an example of creating a, a box full of water. You can cut uh, native common milkweed plants. And as you see, I have a female monarch laying eggs on the, the milkweed. It's, it's, they have cut stems. It, this, this monarch female is happy to lay eggs on this. Uh, there's lots of this milkweed present in the summer breeding grounds between June and the 1st of September. That would be June, July, and August. And you can, uh, of course, harvest that milkweed and, and bring it indoors and set it in a, a east-facing window. Keep water in the tub. Cut the cut the stems just before you stick them in the water and pull the bottom couple of leaves off, so that you've got three different areas for the for the uh, stem to draw up water to keep to keep this uh, milkweed in this type of condition. This milkweed will will stay healthy like this for for a long this for, for you know until they're until it's used by caterpillars. This this particular box I have setting outside but it might be better for you to set it in an east facing window inside because then you eliminate predators. I'll be moving this particular hatchery indoors. I as you can see I've created a habitat here for uh, this monarch here with some of their favorite nectar plants. I've got uh, gold lantana and 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 uh, uh, of course uh, bright lights cosmos and uh, cleone plants and dianthus here which are all favorite nectar plants of of uh, most pollinators including the the monarch butterfly she's she's really liking this uh, common milkweed and laying eggs on it. I wild caught this female last week and I've already uh, I've already uh, uh, had one of these hatcheries with four or five plants on it that has over a hundred hundred eggs on it right now uh, and a lot of them are already hatching. She's just been very prolific in laying eggs and it's been working out real good. It's uh, Oh, what is it? It's uh, about the 15th of July, 2018. It's Craig the Butterfly, man.